Hello, good morning once again, my dear Matthew One students. How are you today? I hope that you're doing good. Last time we had about this discussion on plotting a different ordered pairs, just like this one. So we plot all the given ordered pairs, just like this. We have 2, 3, negative 3, negative 2, 5, negative 2, negative 3, 1, and 1, negative 5. Okay, so I ask you to plot all the given ordered pairs. And uh, some of you, uh, you did it well, and some of you did not do it well. Because you swap the position of the ordered pairs. Now remember that the position of the ordered pairs must be x then y. X, or, uh, x coordinate followed by the y coordinate but not y coordinate then followed by the x coordinate remember that so we have like for example 2 and 3 2 is the x coordinate and 3 is the y coordinate so you will look he, uh, 2 at the x axis and 3 at the y axis it's like 2 3 2 3 is where that is all positive so this is one this is the point for two coordinate uh, two three so two for x and y is three right now for this one it is both positive so you can find this where this is on the third quadrant here that is a thing at three negative two so x is negative three and y is negative two now this one is positive and negative you can find this where on the fourth quadrant here so that is 5 and negative 2 so 5 is x and y is negative 2 this is the point and we have here negative 3 1 so negative uh, x is negative and positive 1 that is on the second quadrant or this one negative 3 and 1 and lastly we have 1 negative 5 uh, again the same with the other one with number 3 that is fourth quadrant you have here 1 and negative 5 okay so just remember that the ordered pairs are always um, x coordinate then y coordinate okay now we have your more activity about the ordered pairs this one moving the coordinate so we're going to move this uh, point here using the movement this one we have here the, the direction where we can move the point okay so the question is, what is the co new coordinate if we move the ordered pairs? Nah? The ordered pairs, negative 5, negative 3. And we're going to move that 7 units up and 8 units to the right. Now remember, when you say to the right, it's going to the, your right hand. And to the left, going to your left hand. And when you say going up, it's going up to the north. And going down, it's going to the south okay so we start so we have here number one which is negative five negative three so this is the point okay and we're going to move this seven units up seven units up so we move going up going to the north from this point we count one two three four five six seven this is the seven then we move eight units to the right eight units to the right where's the cursor you move eight units to the right your right is here so one two three four five six seven eight so this is the new uh location of our coordinate negative five negative three which is now on three four three and four right that's three four Okay, that's the new position of our coordinate, negative 5, negative 3, after we move. Okay, might you understand? Okay, so we go to the next example. This one. So we move again this point. That is on 2, 4. 2, 4. We move that 5 units down and 5 units to the left. So down is going to the south. And left going to your left hand side okay so we start from here we move down five units one two 
three, four, five. And we move to your left side. One, two, three, four, five. So this is the new position of our point. Two, four, which is now negative three, negative one. Okay? That's the new position of our coordinate. Question. Okay, so we go to the next example. This one. So we have here the coordinate, negative 4, negative 1. So this is negative 4, negative 1. Nah? Now we move that 4 units down and 7 units to the right. So we start 4 units down. 1, 2, 3, 4. And go into your right. 7 units. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So this will be the new position of our coordinate, which is now 3, negative 3. 3, negative 3. Okay? That's 3, negative 3. Now we go to the next one. This. We have uh, the coordinate 0, negative 3. 0, negative 3. So this one, 0, negative 3. So the, the this coordinate lies on the y-axis because we have a 0 x coordinate and we have a negative coordinate of y. Y negative coordinate of y is here down of the Cartesian plane. Na? So we move 6 units up. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And we move uh, 2 units to the right. 1, 2. So this will be the new position of our coordinate, which is now 2, 3. 2, 3. Okay? That's 2, 3. Nah? Did you understand my? It's easy, right? So again, when you move the point, when it says to the left, going to your left-hand side. If going to the right, then going to the, your right-hand side. If it is going up, then just going up. And if it's going down, it's going down to the south. Okay? Do you have any question? Now we go to the next. This one, the last one. So we have here the coordinate negative 3, negative 1. That is in the third quadrant. Both negative, right? Both negative can be found on the third quadrant. This is the one. Now it says that we're going to move 4 units down and 7 units to the right. So 4 units down. We have 1 two, three, four, and seven units to the right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So this will be the new position of our coordinate negative three, negative one after we move. And that would be four, negative five. Okay? Four, negative five. Did you understand my question? Okay, so we have here a lot more. We have another activity. This one, giving direction, but the same. You will give uh, the direction like going up or going down or how many units like that. Na? So we're just uh, follow the, uh, the, the question here, the statement here, and what to do. Okay, number one, it says that the man will meet elephant. So where's the man? The man is standing here at this point, right? And he will meet the elephant. Where's the elephant? The elephant is here, right? So he will meet this. He will meet the elephant. How we can meet the elephant? Now you can meet or you can move in two different ways. It's either you will go down first or you will go to the left. Nah? Still the same. So if you will move to the left or you will move down, it's the same. It's still correct. Okay, so for this one, I move to the left first. So I move seven units to the left. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I move two units down. One, two. Okay, so I met the elephant. So I move seven units to the left and move two units down. Nah? So I met the elephant. But you can also have uh, move down, two units down. One, two, and seven units to the left. Still the same, you can swap. Now, number two. A giraffe will play, the, the, the giraffe, sorry, will play with the lion. So it's the giraffe. Here's the giraffe and here's the lion. Okay? So again, for this, you have two, two ways to, to move. 
is either go to the right first or going down first. Nah, but still the same. So I move to the right first. Nine units to your right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Then I move down how many units? That is five units. One, two, three, four, five. Now I met uh, the giraffe, met the well played lion. Okay? So nine units right and not five units down. But you can also have five units down and nine units to the right. Okay? Do you have any question? Now we go to the next one, number three. The monkey will go with the deer. The monkey, this is the monkey, will go with the deer. Where's the deer? It's over here. Nah? So he will move this way or he can move that way. So I move, prefer to move going up. 14 units going up. So we start 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Then 8 units to the right. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay? So the monkey can go to the deer. Number 4. The man will feed the fish. So it's the man again. And he will feed the fish. Where's the fish? This is the fish in the fish tank. Okay? So again, he can move this way or he can move that way. So I prefer to, to move going down. So there are seven units down. So that's seven units. Sorry. The seven units down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And five units of a right. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. So the man can feed the, the fish by that movement. You don't understand my question. So I hope that you understand on how to uh, move uh, the different coordinate by means of uh, uh, directions. Okay, so again, if that is to the left, then to your left hand side. If that is to the right, to your right hand side. If that is going up, then going up to the north. If the south, uh, going down, it's going to the south. Okay. It's easy, right? So I hope that everybody understood this one and you will do the activity. We have here the activity for this. This one. So moving coordinate, we have here three numbers. You're going to plot this first. Nah? Please plot the points. You plot first the point or write the points first on the Cartesian uh, plane, then find the answer. Na? Again, please write the question here on the Cartesian plane before you find the answer. Na? I want to see that one. So you write first the question here, and after that, you find the answer. Okay? And we have here one more. This one. This one, also uh, exercise. The same. You will give direction. How far an elephant is away from the grass. So the same as what we did uh, in giving direction that you will say five units to the left or, or three units to the right. So you will answer like that. Na? So we have our three questions. This is just continuation of what we have uh, there in our activity. Okay. So do you have any question? Okay, so again, if you don't have any clarification, that is all uh, for today, and we see you again next time. Bye-bye!